Good evening. I'm Dennis Waltering. And I'm Lucy Bustamante. Angela is off tonight. Just three weeks before Louisiana voters elect a U.S. Senator, Republican leaders are butting heads. Party leaders are not happy with several prominent Republicans who have endorsed Democratic Senator Mary Landrieu. But as Doug Mouton shows us, those prominent Republicans are not pleased about being called out for it. I'm Mary Landrieu, and I approve this message. The honesty and integrity that she brings to the job. This is the source of the disagreement. We are very disappointed that a number of the uh, uh, Republican elected officials have come out and endorsed Mary. Whenever you have a person in office that has worked hard and earned your support, then it's kind of difficult to tell them no and blindly follow a party mandate. Roger Villery says the Republicans who backed Landrieu just aren't as informed as they should be. Uh, you know, Mary Landrieu did a good job in PR. She worked hard in Washington to on issues that would affect her PR back here in Louisiana, but yet she voted for the liberal leadership that worked against the very issues that she was supporting. Roger Villery says the Republican Party is not considering a censure against the Republicans who backed Landrieu because he says it's not in the party's bylaws. But the St. Tammany Republican Executive Committee did issue a formal resolution criticizing the seven elected St. Tammany officials who backed Landrieu, including Parish President Kevin Davis and Sheriff Jack Strain. I'm not some closet Democrat who, who now found an opportunity to go out and endorse a, a fellow Democrat. I am a Republican. Everything that I believe and do uh, represents the Republican Party. I am as pro John McCain and, and Sarah Palin as you could be. You know, when, when I became a Republican, I, I did not know that that meant that I, there was a blood oath to the Republican Party and that other people would decide for me who was the best person for the job. The Landrieu campaign says Sheriffs Norman and Strain are two of the 27 elected Republicans to endorse Landrieu. So now that whole round of endorsements, which has occurred over the last six months, is suddenly back in the news and it's just going to remind conservatives and Republicans of how many Republicans are endorsing Mary Landrieu. Clancy Dubo says the Republican Party would have been better served bringing this up after the election because just the mention of reprimands or sanctions isn't sitting well with either sheriff. And I'm not sure what the sanction is. Uh, they can start with not asking me for any money like they do all the time. That would be a good start and a good sanction. Doug Mouton, Channel 4 Eyewitness News.